primordial ooze and maybe asteroid crashes. The Earth spawn, nucleotides, and nuclear gases. Now nucleotides, it may be further described as three separate parts that they've unified. A base of sugar phosphate, but what does that mean? But there's two types of bases, purines and pyrimidines. Which is which depends on the ring number. Pyrimidines have one more purine, have one plus another. To remember the purines, I was told, PAG for pure as gold, and to identify the pyrimidines best. Cytosine, thymine, uracil, or all the rest. Now when you see a basin that has a sugar with it, they form a bond that we call glycosidic. Nucleosides are sugar-based cooperation with the glycosidic bonds in the beta conformation. Ribose here is the sugar of choice and is five prime carbons where the phosphate joints. And if we just attach a couple more in hydro linkages, then we will see an NTP that gets right on binding Mg and calcium ions. But I digress, and might I try my best to express that nucleotides polymerize and form the code that decides the color of your eyes. And if there be some bases in proximity, it won't be long for them to form a phosphate that gets the bond. DNA has a spine of its own. We call this the sugar phosphate backbone. Attached to the spine, the bases act as side chains. The connections rely upon hydrogen bondings. Two for AT and three for GC, lending guanine and cytosine greater stability. Nucleic acids form helices. Well, just remember when they're paired, they run into parallel. RNA and DNA look similar still, but an RNA dye means replacing uracil. Which came first, man, it's not for me to say, but if it's missing a hydroxyl, then it's DNA.